Hey everyone, my name is Nona Jones. I am a preacher and a business leader, and I also have the great joy and privilege of pastoring a local church in Gainesville, Florida with my husband. I am always honored to get to turn my attention to the Word of God with you. So let's do that together. I'm going to be in the book of Luke, chapter 6 and verse 36. The Bible says, be merciful just as your father is merciful. Now, can I be honest with you for a moment? <laughs> this is a tough verse. And it's tough because y'all, mercy requires an offense to carry it out. And I don't know about you, but I don't particularly like to be offended. I don't like to get hurt. And yet, that's what's required in order for us to be merciful. But my mind goes back to where the Bible says, God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble because you see, mercy requires humility. Mercy requires the humility to realize that when somebody offends us, chances are very good that we have offended someone else in a similar way. Now for me, when somebody offends me, of course my first reaction is, I can't believe they just did that. But soon after that, without fail, the Holy Spirit always reminds me, Nona, that's actually how you look to me. I can't believe that you did what you did. And yet I loved you enough to extend mercy to you. And because of that, I'm only asking you to do what I've done. Talk about conviction. <laughs> Talk about absolute repentance. You see, when this verse tells us to be merciful because our Father is merciful, what it's really saying is God is not expecting us to do anything more than what he's done for us. When God humbled himself into the form of a man in order to make his way to a cross, to die for sins that he did not commit so that we would experience mercy. You see, the reason why God resists the proud is because pride does not bend. There is no mercy in pride. Pride believes that it is justified in its stance. But this is why God humbled himself to show us all that the power of mercy is greater than the power of offense. And so if you find yourself struggling to forgive someone, just remember that you have been forgiven. And that power can restore even your deepest broken heart because our God is a God of mercy.